We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team victorious again with a 34-15 win over South Hagerstown this past week. Give us a recap of the game and your takeaways. Uh, it was it was pretty much an ugly game. Um, um, I don't think we played the best um, that we played all year this game. I, I thought the kids. Um, I thought we. I don't think we played well. I just don't think we played well. You know, we won thirty four to fifteen. I just don't think we played well. Uh, we had way too many, way too many penalties that, that cost us. Um, that sometimes kept their drives alive, uh, stifled our drives. So I just, I just think it was an ugly game. You know, but you take a win anyway you can get it. But I just thought we didn't we didn't play our style of football that we typically uh, play. Coach, it seemed like it was a pretty close game. Like you said, you guys didn't probably play up to your typical standard. Um, in some ways, though, uh, you know, getting a close game maybe something that you didn't expect, and the guys able to pull away late. Uh, does that show any good things about your team, even though it wasn't your best game, and you still got a good win on paper? Yeah, I mean, um, it showed that you know they were able to stick together and push through and, and persevere um, over those over those types of situations. Um, but you know, um, as a coach and as a team together, I'm pretty sure we all we all looked back and it was like that wasn't our best game. We we have to play better to continue to continue to continue going forward to try to accomplish the goals that we set for ourselves. What are some of the things uh, specifically that you feel like your team needs to get better at? Um, I just think um, we just had last two games. We had way too many um, either pre-snap or after play penalties. Um, we just got to get get better at that. Um, I think we just um, kind of didn't didn't like no energy. We didn't have any energy. Uh, didn't have any energy this this past week. So we just got to make sure we bring the energy. Uh, eliminate eliminate the mistakes and the penalties. Um, eliminate uh, the miscues. We have some miscues in um, on offense and defense, whether it be coverage and coverages on defense or blocking assignments on offense. So just eliminate eliminate the mistakes. Get back to playing clean football um, and mistake free football, and I think we'll be fine. Coach Millbrook, this week a team that comes in uh, five and one, seem like they have a pretty high powered offense as well. Just looking at some of their scores. Uh, what kind of stands out to you about this Millbrook team? Um, it's it's going to be, um, you know, anytime you're staring down a single wing offense, um, it's going to be some things where you we got, like I said, we got to play clean assignment football this week because we're going to be staring at single wing. So um, a lot of confusion, a lot of misdirection. Um, so we just got to play straight clean football defensively. Um, offensively, we just got to, because they're running a single wing, um, they're going to they're gonna run the ball 98% of the time. So with that being said, every offensive opportunity needs to be a good one because we don't know how much time uh, they're going to run off the clock when they're, when they're running their offense. Um, so the key thing defensively is we got to get stops offensively. We've got to take advantage of those stops and score uh, when we get the ball because you, you don't know how many, how many opportunities you're going to have when you're looking at single wing, single wing offense. And with those opportunities on the offensive end, what do you feel like it, what you've seen from their defense that you guys need to execute? Um, just, you know, making sure that we see um, what, we, what we've been seeing on film. We see that in the game, just making sure we, we hit those spots and uh, take advantage of those areas. I, I can't just give you all too much stuff on on record and in, in what we're thinking about doing and what we, what we know we can do against them based on what their defense does. But, I mean, we just got to take advantage of those deficiencies that we see in their defense and uh, make sure we take definite advantage of those, of those situations and execute to the best of our ability and don't have any mishaps, no, no penalties that put us behind the sticks offensively. Uh, so we have, to, we have to execute and play clean football. Like I said, just keep, like, like I said, we just got to keep doing that. Coach, you guys uh, were able to get a five-point win over them last year, and it seems like them and Toronto always give you guys uh, some good competition out of the state. Um, knowing that it's tough to schedule games in state uh, with the Eastern Panhandle, outside of the Eastern Panhandle, I should say, uh, what do you like about having those schools from Virginia that give you those good challenges every year? I mean, that's just it. I mean, they give us good challenges without having to, without necessarily having to travel 
you know, four or five hours to get those good challenges or three hours to get those good challenges that you can you can stay home, kids can sleep in their own beds, and you can get up and go 45 minutes away and get um, – Good competition. So I mean, that's, I mean, that's what that's what helps us right there. Is that you don't have to you don't have to get on the bus, travel three hours to go play a good competition. That you know we can go right across the border in uh, Frederick County, or even Washington County, or Frederick County, Maryland. Um, heck, or even I mean, this year we're going down Montgomery County. So I mean, there's there's availabilities for us to go different places in this area without having to travel too far to see some good competition. So I mean, that's what you like about a Sarando and a Millbrook. Coach Hunter, before we wrap things up, we've decided this week to kind of ask non-football related questions, get to know coaches more on a personal level. And this week we decided to ask every coach what their favorite meal is. So what is your favorite meal oh to have? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't even know what my favorite meal is. Um, um, shoot. I, I would say my favorite thing, my, my, my guilty pleasure would be pizza. That would be my guilty pleasure. Um, what kind of pizza? What do you put on top? Um, usually pepperoni and bacon. I mean, that's usually my thing is pepperoni and bacon. I can, I can almost eat pizza almost every day of the week. I mean, it's a guilty pleasure. Once I start eating the pizza, I, it's hard for me to stop, too. Does pineapple belong on pizza? <sighs> people like it. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of it, but there are people that like it. Um, so, I mean, to each his own, um, I'm not, I, I re- I'd rather find that on a pizza than mushroom on a pizza. That's for sure. All right, coach. Thank you. Appreciate the time as always. And good luck this Friday. All right. No problem. All right. Thank you.